There's nothing more exhilarating than pointing out the shortcomings of others, is there? This video was made possible due to those who support me on Patreon. And I'd like to give a big shout out to Bedside Milk, Chris Hutchinson, Christopher Spirit B, Conrad Truitt, Dan Ray, David Paradis, Eric Navarro, Flake, Frame by Frame, Joseph Abrams, KB, Kyle Kramer, Mayfin, Majin Weeaboo, Malav Shah, Matthew Gay, Sophia Narwitz, and Stephen Dillon. Thank you all for your support. If you are a fan of the channel, you've probably at one point or another heard me express my love for The Leftovers. For those unfamiliar, The Leftovers tells the story of those left to grapple with the inexplicable disappearance of 2% of the world's population, an event dubbed The Sudden Departure. There are many things I could praise the show for, but today I want to discuss how the series subverts or perhaps perfects what is known as the mystery box. The mystery box was coined by J.J. Abrams in a 2007 TED talk. To put it simply, the mystery box is an approach to storytelling based on the idea that intrigue is the main driver of story. Thrust the viewer into a confounding situation and allow their desire for answers to keep them engaged. Two men wake up chained in a bathroom with a dead man between them. 27 men are killed following a ship explosion and what seems like a drug deal gone bad, but there is no dope on the boat. A man is imprisoned for 15 years with no indication as to who did this to him or why. These are excellent hooks that get the audience frothing at the mouth for answers. Thus, this mystery box style of storytelling is very effective at getting the viewer invested in your story. But here's the problem. When one invests in a mystery, they naturally expect a payoff, for said mystery to unfold in a rewarding way. Thus, we come to the main critique of how this mystery box style of writing is often implemented, that it focuses primarily on generating intrigue and isn't all that concerned with the payoff. A good story uses mystery and intrigue to make the payoff that much better. Take Jaws or Jurassic Park, which don't reveal their big baddies, the shark, the T-Rex, and the raptors right away, building that anticipation, thus making their eventual reveals all the more impactful. It's no surprise these moments are some of the most famous in cinematic history. Whereas in, say, JJ's Star Trek Into Darkness, the identity of the big baddie is delayed until it is finally revealed... My name is Khan. To which the vast majority of viewers responded with the resounding... Okay. In Jaws and Jurassic Park, the mystery is used to enhance the film's already stellar elements. In Star Trek Into Darkness, the mystery as to the identity of this person is retroactively squandered upon the reveal being so underwhelming, and you realize the manufactured intrigue is really all the film had going for it. Often with this style of storytelling, once said mystery is revealed, the story itself loses most, if not all, of its impact. With, say, Old Boy, even after all of its answers are revealed, I can still enjoy rewatching it due to its substance. The film is much more than just a mystery. Compare this to, say, Cloverfield, which is effective on a first watch, as it keeps the audience engaged by having them slowly realize what is going on, as well as the buildup of Clovey's reveal. But seeing as the film is tremendously lacking in the actual substance department, it isn't one that entices a rewatch. It's a fun ride, but that's really all it is. Mystery is an incredible tool you can use to enhance your story. But with this more common mystery box style of storytelling, mystery is used in place of story. And no piece of media better displays the folly of mystery box storytelling than Abrams' own oh no. While Lost was admittedly phenomenal at keeping the audience guessing, introducing mystery after mystery, setting up cliffhanger after cliffhanger, frankly, it was a whole lot of bark and not a lot of bite. That isn't to say the show didn't have some amazing character moments or land some pretty solid twists. We have to go back! But at some point, many fans realized that the show was just bombarding them with so many mysteries, so much intrigue, the others, the smoke monster, the numbers, fucking Walt, 
to distract them from the fact that there really wasn't all that much of a coherent through line underneath it all, which is why most of these mysteries either resolved in disappointing fashion or got straight up dropped, and the series came to a close with a whimpering cop out. Now that is not to say that every mystery in a story needs to be answered. The contents of the briefcase in Pulp Fiction, whether or not Deckard is a replicant, what Bob whispers in Charlotte's ear, these are questions that are never given conclusive answers. But these films are not about said questions. Leaving them unanswered does not detract from their stories, and the resulting mystery is something fun for fans to wonder and speculate about. The difference with Lost is that its mysteries became the main driving force of the show, more so than its story and characters. Once again, mystery is used in place of story. So with all that said, let's talk about The Leftovers, co-created by Lost co-creator Damon Lindelof, which is rather ironic since The Leftovers, at least from a storytelling perspective, is its total inverse. While Lost is a show whose plot and characters were mostly in service to generating mystery, the various mysteries of The Leftovers are solely in service of exploring character. There is the character of Holy Wayne, who may have miraculous healing powers, or may be a fraud who is feigning said powers to facilitate his hobby of sleeping with underage Asian girls. There is a man named David Burton, who may be the reincarnation of God, or who merely believes he is after surviving a near-death experience. Our main character, Kevin Garvey, may be the second coming of Christ, whose immortality allows him to roam freely through the realm of the dead, or maybe he's just a little bit cuckoo banana pancakes. The answers to these questions are never conclusively given, but that's because they really don't matter. Whether or not Holy Wayne is a fraud doesn't make the conviction of those who believe in him any less real. Whether or not Burton is in fact God is inconsequential in regard to the crisis of faith Reverend Matt Jameson has following his interaction with him. Whether or not Kevin is some sort of messiah figure doesn't really make a difference as to how his experiences, whether literal or delusional, lead to him realizing what he truly cherishes in his life. The mysteries are merely catalysts for the exploration of story and character. This is even true for the show's biggest mystery of all. Given its main mystery, the inexplicable disappearance of 2% of the world's population, being one hell of a mystery box-like setup, you would think that the series would use the answer to said mystery as a carrot on a stick of sorts, to keep the audience watching and guessing, yearning for an answer, just as Lost did with its cornucopia of tropical shenanigans. But conversely, as the show goes on, The Leftovers becomes less and less concerned with addressing what caused caused the sudden departure, or where the departed disappeared to, to the point where it basically becomes irrelevant, and in the end, the show doesn't even give the audience an answer to this mystery. Right about now, I'm sure some of you fans out there may be saying, wait a minute, yes it does, eh, just sit tight, we'll get to that in a second. But this wasn't some big disappointing letdown that came about in the series finale. The show pretty much explicitly communicates to the viewer that the answer as to what caused the sudden departure and what happened to the departed will never be revealed. Shit, the theme music to the entire second season and the series finale is entitled Let the Mystery Be. The show is not concerned with answering its central mystery. Instead, it uses said mystery to explore how characters react to such an inexplicable event. Some believe it was an act of divine intervention and turned to religion. Others are convinced that there must be some sort of scientific explanation and work tirelessly to discover what it is. There are those who fall into despair and refuse to grapple with what they have lost, and those who commit to making sure the world never forgets. The series is not about the answer, rather, how humanity reacts in a situation where they will never get an answer. This mantra is stuck to even in the closing moments of its series finale. The finale focuses primarily on the character of Nora Durst, who lost her husband and two children in the sudden departure. Throughout the series, Nora resents those around her who were able to move on, while she is constantly racked with guilt and shame, which prevents her from committing herself to a relationship with Kevin. In the final season, Nora is approached by a group of physicists, who tell her that they have found a way to transport people to wherever the departed are. 
While initially skeptical, Nora eventually agrees to undergo the process to reunite with her family. But just as the transportation is about to commence, we smash cut to several years later and find a much older Nora living alone in the Australian outback. Kevin manages to track her down and questions where she has been for all these years. Nora tells Kevin she did in fact undergo the transportation and arrived in a world identical to theirs, but where the 2% who disappeared are alive and well and in which the 98% disappeared. She states that she found her husband and children, but upon seeing them together and safe, decided that she does not belong in this world. Tracked down the scientist who invented the machine that sent her there and had him send her back, after which she escaped into exile. Now, some of you may be confused since I earlier stated that the show never tells the audience what happened to the departed. However, and this might grind the gears of some leftover fans, that is because the story told by Nora is a complete and utter lie. If there is enough interest, I can make a whole video on why this is the case. And while the show never reveals whether or not the scientists were successfully transporting people to be with the departed or were just incinerating them, the truth is that Nora called off the procedure at the last minute and went into exile, most likely out of shame and guilt. Now, there may be some who will disagree with me and argue that she is indeed telling the truth. But, of course, it doesn't really matter, does it? Whether or not Nora did travel to this alternate world or not is irrelevant. What is relevant is that Nora has finally been able to make peace with losing her family. Whether she did in fact find her husband and children living a happy life, or it is simply a story she chooses to believe to make peace with her loss, it is inherently inconsequential because both scenarios functionally lead to the same conclusion to Nora's arc. The answer to the mystery doesn't matter, character matters. What sort of dawned on me during the scripting of this video, hence the parenthetical found in its title, is that while The Leftovers does subvert how the mystery box is commonly utilized, you could argue that it is conversely mystery box storytelling in its purest form. Mystery as merely a catalyst to explore story and character. If you watch the TED talk in which Abrams explains the mystery box, he states, I find myself drawn to infinite possibility and that sense of potential, and I realize that mystery is the catalyst for imagination. Maybe there are times when mystery is more important than knowledge. With which I wholeheartedly agree. Mystery is indeed a crucial part of storytelling. But the flaw in Abrams' execution of the mystery box is that his stories become all about the mystery. They are all bark and no bite all intrigue and no substance. But The Leftovers is not about its mysteries. It is about the innate human desire to make sense of the nonsensical. There are certain questions that we simply will never for sure know the answer to. Yet as humans, we are driven to give meaning to the unknown. In The Leftovers, some find that meaning in a higher power, some in relying on science and logic, some into giving into nihilism and despair, some in simply being with those they have left. That is what the show is about. Thus, leaving these mysteries unresolved allows for the intrigue and mystery to remain, but never detracts from and only enhances the story itself, putting character above all else.